Well, I'm the owner and also manager of the Nyman Ranch Pork Company. Okay. And, and the Nyman Ranch Pork Company is, is now about uh, 450 family farms that all raise pigs in uh, a set of protocol that uh, has been established by the Animal Welfare Institute. And that, that includes uh, being raised in pastures or deep bedded pens and allowing the uh, animals to behave as naturally as possible. All of our uh, animals live in a situation like this, depending on uh, whether uh, it's winter, spring, summer, or fall. Right now we're in the summer season, so the majority of our hogs are out here in the pasture. We have a series of fields out here. This field is a half a mile long. It's actually subdivided into 14 smaller fields. Each one of these fields uh, had a group of around 15 sows that had pigs in about a, a week's period of time. A few years ago I saw a, a film that was done in Sweden where some pigs had been brought out to a woods actually and they were videotaped to record their behavior where, where they would be in a more natural environment. After all the pig is descended from the wild boar it was found that they had the natural instincts and behavior where they would want to build a nest. It dawned on me what we were doing out here with our small houses that we were sort of duplicating this uh, situation where a pig would uh, want to be secluded and want to have nesting material and would want to go off by themselves and, and give birth. So each one of these little houses represents that, that sort of uh, uh, birthing place. Then you see some of the bigger uh, buildings out here. When you put a group of uh, females that are about to give birth, they'll generally sort of hang, hang out together in the larger building as a sort of lounging area. And then as they are ready to have pigs, they'll one by one go off and find the smaller buildings. After about five days, the sow will come out and the little pigs will start to follow their mother and they'll start to socialize or sort of integrate with the other mothers and the other baby pigs of the group. We leave the mothers with the pigs till at least six weeks of age. We do wean the mothers and the pigs by removing the uh, mothers uh, from the area out here and then we leave the pigs out here where they where they were born. And By that time they've learned where the feed, water and uh, the things that they need are by following the uh, mothers. Right behind us we're seeing what's called a hoop building. In the winter time we use these buildings and it's a deep bedded system where we continually add bedding. Bedding meaning uh, straw, oat straw, corn stalks, soybean straw. As you add this, you create a, a kind of a bedding pack and there you have some composting going on, which uh, also produces heat. So especially in the winter time, a foot down, it will be uh, 100 degrees. So it's kind of, kind of like laying on an electric blanket. The pigs are eating uh, feed in the field too, which is primarily a corn and a, a soybean uh, ration. This farm that you're uh, looking at here is on a five-year rotational basis and the pigs uh, they live here one year and then all of these buildings are moved to the next field in other words this field that we're standing in here with the hay and that's where they will be next year and then that field behind us will be plowed and we'll will plant corn there and the nutrients from the pigs being out there will be recycled into the soil and 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 will be fertilizer for the for the corn crop. And you see behind the hog yard back there is corn and then beyond that is soybeans and then we go to oats and then hay and then hog pasture again. The pigs being in the field becomes part of a crop rotation. We have the same pigs here. Uh, they're all descendants of the same pigs that I had in 1974. I mean the mother ability and how the, the uh, sows behave around their pigs and their concern for their pigs and whether they lay that on them or not is also something that seems to be inherited and something that you can you can uh, continue to improve on as you select the mothers from one generation to the next. Nyman Ranch products in Des Moines can be found at the farmers market. Larry cleverly uh, uh, is there every Saturday morning and then uh, we have uh, Scavos that makes sausage uh, in the Des Moines area in various places uses Nyman Ranch pork and there's uh, uh, many restaurants that will have Nyman Ranch uh, on the menu labeled as such.